Hello, you're watching Hornbell TV's Northeast Express. Repolling began at 11 polling stations in the Inner Manipur parliamentary constituency of the Northeastern state on Monday. After incidents of violence reported from these polling stations in Manipur on April 19th, the Election Commission had ordered the repolling. Some miscreants had allegedly opened fire and even destroyed EVMs at these polling stations during the first phase of the Lok Sabha elections on Friday. Security has been tightened in all the polling stations to avoid any mishaps. Manipur saw a voter turnout of 69.18% till 7pm on Friday. It may be mentioned that incidents of violence were reported at some of the polling booths in conflict-torn Manipur where some miscreants opened fire and even destroyed EVMs. The affected polling stations where re-polling is being conducted are Moirang Kampi Sajeb Upper Primary School and S. Ibobi Primary School East Wing in the Khurai Assembly constituency. Four in Shetrigao, one in Thongju, three in Uripok, and one in Kanthauja. In the incidents of violence on April 19th, one civilian was reported to be injured after the firing, and clashes were reported at a polling booth in Moirang Kampi, Sajeb Awang Lekai of Impal, Manipur during voting in the Lok Sabha elections. All 32 assembly segments of the Inner Manipur parliamentary constituency and 15 assembly segments of the Outer Manipur ST parliamentary constituency voted for the Lok Sabha. The voting for the remaining 13 segments of Outer Manipur will be held in the second phase on April 26th. The counting of votes will be held on June 4th. And now to give us more updates on how the situation in the ground is in Manipur, we've got with us our Manipur correspondent Mubashir Raji, who will be joining me over a Skype conversation and we'll get further updates as to what the law and order situation in Manipur is this time around after the ECI had asked for a report. Well, uh, first of all, thank you so much, Mubashir, for joining us again. Uh, it's been quite a busy week for you. Uh, well, April 19th and today is the 22nd of April. What's the difference in the polling scenario? And how, did the, how has the government managed the security concerns? And it's already five, so the polling would have been over by now. So how was the polling process uh, generally? Well, uh, just a uh, few minutes ago, I uh, took stock of the situations and uh, asked the polling questions from the CEO himself. Uh, as uh, provided the information, uh, uh, more than 73 percent poll percentages had already been recorded so far. So it will be more than 73 percent. Oh. So it will be described as a high water turn now in Manipur this time. Uh, in fact, higher than the. the uh, Higher than the earlier one, that is the first test, uh, that has happened on 19. Yes. Uh, the press rules are happening uh, with higher water percentage, I must say. As far as uh, security arrangements are concerned, uh, this time, uh, well, uh, since morning I visited um, uh, this uh, uh, Uripo Assembly constituency, that is uh, Iroi Shemba, where uh, three uh, polling stations are, you know, uh, being called for repoll. Uh, where also, you know, people are coming out in large number and the security arrangement was, uh, I will say, top notch uh, as described by the voters. And after that, I also visited this um, uh, uh, Surai uh, assembly constituency also, uh, where also, you know, uh, even though there are some uh, uh, tensions uh, because of the fact that there was uh, violence in the uh, last time, but the, by and large, uh, people come out in large number. And then I also visited this Hongzhou also, Hongzhou assembly constituency, where, you know, good uh, uh, EVM machine was, you know, destroyed by miscreants last time. But this time around, uh, there was no such report of any such un untoward incident. However, voting uh, uh, percentage is high and uh, uh, by and large it is a peaceful one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So, Mubashir, uh, we had received reports in the morning that uh, the women voters, they took up security concerns themselves. How far is this true and was that effective? Uh, I beg your pardon, uh, please repeat your question. All right. No, uh, we have received reports in the morning, I think through you itself, uh, that women uh, voters, they took an initiative to have security. They were checking all the cars uh, that were entering the polling station or the vicinity of the polling area. So uh, was that uh, sort of arrangement uh, effective regarding the uh, peaceful polling? Well, well, yes, actually, when I visited this Moiran uh, uh, Sajet uh, area where, you know, the, the, uh, the uh, firing incident also happened and the press police, uh, you know, declared by the ECI. 
uh, women folks, you know, of all the villages were coming out in large number and they were, you know, checking the cars and, you know, uh, uh, unidentified or uh, some, uh, any uh, suspected people coming to their uh, locality. So, uh, the, that is effective uh, to some extent now because uh, with the kind of security apparatus this time, uh, 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 friends, you know, and armed groups, uh, uh, we'll, we'll check 100 times before, you know, entering the, uh, the uh, polling booth. Yes, Akibita. All right, uh, Mubashir, coming back to the re-polling scenario, I mean, uh, on the 19th of April, after the official Lok Sabha first phase had been completed, the Congress party had initially asked that there should be re-polling in more than 35-plus uh, polling stations. But the Election Commission of India uh, allowed re-polling in just 11 uh, constituencies. So, what has been the Congress's allegations and why did they want re-polling in more than 35 and what uh, have the Congress given any statement on the ECI's decision on holding re-polls on just 11 constituencies? Well, Akhipito, to be precise, uh, the Congress party uh, or the uh, India Bloc Manipur, uh, which is an opposition alliance, yes. uh, mega opposition alliance, have, you know, uh, asked for 37 uh, police stations to press polling 37 uh, uh, police stations. But yes. however, the uh, Election Commission of India, you know, uh, after uh, looking at the report of RO, you know, the training officer, only 11 uh, police stations were granted for the press polls. Yes. Uh, so uh, that is uh, a decision taken by the ECI. Uh, but as far as Congress is concerned, they are definitely not happy with the decision taken by the um, ECI, but however, uh, the ultimate decision uh, rests with the ECI, uh, so nobody can contest it. Uh, there is another thing. Uh, an another thing that uh, when I was, uh, you know, going at the ground and talking to the people, you know, people were saying that uh, normally, you know, in press poll, you know, ruling party uh, uh, get, you know, upper hand. But in Manipur, uh, it will be otherwise because uh, the anti incumbency factor is. Uh, uh, seem to be uh, uh, higher this time. So the recall in the in all the uh, uh, polling booth where recall has been ordered, uh, I think uh, uh, ruling party will not be that much beneficial. Uh, that is what I got the boot from the uh, voters. But uh, it's all up to the you know voters uh, uh, the, uh, themselves to decide. Yes, I can all right. Uh, not only that, the Congress Party also, after April 19, while holding a press conference, had uh, alle had allegations such that the BJP or our miscreants were there uh, for booth capturing, and also uh, people were not being allowed to come out to vote. Uh, so, how far are these allegations true? I mean, uh, we had received a video where we saw the Congress candidate, uh, Professor Akoy Jam, having a serious discussion or rather an argument with a security personnel. So. What was the ground situation like, and do you think that this is happening? This happened today too. Well, uh, Akipito, uh, as you mentioned, uh, Professor Aki, uh, Akojam, uh, he is the INC candidate. He himself has said that you know, uh, large-scale boot capturing and you know, uh, these armed groups trying to influence the water have been on a uh, uh, mass scale, as uh, as Bimal uh, Akojam said. But uh, how true it is, uh, it will be decided by the. Uh, of the uh, authority, them, authority themselves, but by and large, uh, uh, this particular, you know, press force in 11 uh, police station is present, uh, it's by and large free and clear, I would say. But the, uh, the earlier one was, you know, a lot of allegations and a lot of uh, charges by the opposition, which uh, many of them were, I will say, true, because uh, with the uh, fact that, you know, many people are, you know, many armed groups are oper operating here. Uh, in Delhi, due to uh, both Delhi and Hills, due to the fact that you know Manipur was uh, in a you know conflict situation just uh, just a few months, just a one or two months back. So uh, that's understandable to some extent also. But uh, by and large, uh, uh, at least for today, it was peaceful and free and fair. But for the earlier one, um, um, opposition ha had a lot of charges to level. Yes, I think all right, uh, Mubashir, you had actually spoken to the intending BJP candidate that uh, who already stood for the polls on the 19th, uh, T.H. Basanta, who is also the incumbent education minister of Manipur. Well, he had given a very bold statement in which he said that he ha he already has a plan to as a solution to this ongoing conflict 
between the two uh, ethnicities. So how uh, this statement that he made that he has a plan and uh, it will be implemented if he comes to power. So this statement, how has it been taken by the public or rather the voters of Manipur? Uh, do they see this as a positive measure or do they term it as another guarantee which will never be fulfilled? Well, uh, the candidate, uh, the, the, uh, Mr. Basanta himself is concerned. You know, he has maintained a, one of the lowest uh, profile, I will say. He uh, hasn't spoken much in the public and he has maintained a low profile. Uh, and instead, he uh, let the Chief Minister and Brenzi to speak for him in many public occurrences. Even with media interaction, you know, he has, uh, in the you know, latter part of the campaigning, Yes, he has, you know, decreased the uh, uh, interaction with media also. So, by and large, his interaction with public and uh, media was very late. He has, uh, you know, he somehow decided to, you know, maintain uh, low profile. This is what I think BJP, high command of BJP, has advised that he should, uh, he should maintain a high profile, uh, uh, probably. That is why he maintained a very low profile, uh, not high profile, very low profile. And he was not speaking much in the public and uh, the interaction with media was also very much. But as far as the statement made by him that he has a, a solid plan for, you know, ending the crisis in Manipur, um, uh, I would say by and large uh, reaction was uh, positive. But uh, whether it will convert into the board or not, even altogether uh, a different thing. Yes, Akibita. All right. Uh, also, Mubashir, can you give us a little update on the independent candidate uh, where the election commission had given him a show cause notice for his comments on Chief Minister Biren Singh uh, on a talk show with some local daily. So what has his uh, reaction been and what uh, when the police had ECI team or rather when the authority had gone to the house, uh, the independent candidates uh, supporters actually protected him by forming a mob and not allowing the authorities to come and uh, take action. So how do you think has the independent candidate fared and whatever he spoke on camera that day, how, how was it uh, taken by the voters? Well, uh, the, he was uh, very, you know, uh, the, the, the low profile uh, at the beginning of the, you know, uh, election process and the campaigning. But after he met that statement, after he met that statement, he became quite popular. I would say uh, popular than we or anybody expect in Manipur or in uh, He become now, right now, he is a social media sensation kind of a thing. He has become very popular. Whether people will vote uh, uh, or not is another. Uh, um, uh, matter because he himself is not uh, seeking what uh, that much seriously. So uh, whether how was uh, what will be converted in his name or not is another matter. But he has become a very popular figure. Uh, you know, even when the, you know authorities, uh, even when the S superintendent of police and all the uh, security teams went to you know uh, arrest him at his locality, you know his followers, you know. Uh, uh, gather and it is at his home and uh, they force the securities to you know return back. So he has become a very popular figure. There is no doubt of it about it. Uh, there are also other two candidates here, uh, but uh, they somehow you know uh, uh, become less popular. And this independent candidate, Mr. Toton Sana. Uh, he became quite popular in the process. Yes. Uh, All right. So, Mubashir, uh, I'm glad that today you had quite a peaceful day, unlike 19th April, where uh, it was quite a hectic day for you. Now, moving on to the elections, the second phase of elections that is approaching, which is on April 26th, uh, Outer Manipur constituency will be voting on the 26th of April. So, how has, uh, what is the environment and the atmosphere being in the outer Manipur uh, Lok Sabha constituencies and also what is the position of both the BJP supported NPF candidate candidate Timothy Zimek's uh, campaign and also Congress uh, Mr. Alfred so how how is the battle coming up uh, well, uh, uh, as far as what's uh, in this outer Manipur constituency is concerned, it is uh, 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 normally it has a you know violence, uh, full of violence and uh, full of you know ups and downs kind of things. But as far as this time around, you know, looking at the fact that even in the valley, uh, uh, even in inner Manipur parliamentary constituency elections, you know, there was a lot of violence and there was a lot of report about uh, boot capturing and you know armed um, groups trying to uh, influence the border or in fact, 
successfully in terms of so in terms of also and that is why uh, ETI call uh, first call. Uh, so uh, this time around, I think the security measures, as far as security measures is concerned, you know, they uh, the, the authority need to increase uh, the security measures to utmost level. I must say that is another thing. And as far as uh, the prospect of the whole, uh, um, as far as the prospect of the candidate or the whole uh, 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 election itself is concerned, you know, um, uh, um, one interesting check is uh, this time around there is no Kuti candidate. So Kuti have decided to you know absent themselves from. Uh, uh, contesting any uh, candidate, uh, bringing out any candidate, and at the same time, you know, they have uh, even at least in you know Kang uh, district, you know, there was uh, very low voter turnout uh, uh, this time round, uh, less than twenty or thirty, uh, very low uh, turnout. Uh, only the you know other communities like Nepalese and uh, the, uh, uh, Naga communities and other uh, uh, communities that are living in the city dominated area of this Kang you know, they come out and vote. So. Uh, I think uh, uh, that is another interesting uh, thing so, because uh, all the candidates in the outer Manipur are, you know, are belong to the Naga community. But uh, both Kuki and Naga have, you know, almost equal number of, you know, equal number of voters. Or uh, uh, population-wise, they have, they both have, you know, almost same. So uh, who, who will, uh, who, who, will, who will be able to decide to uh, support is another factor which will play a big role. Yes, Akhi all right, uh, especially regarding the outer Manipur constituency, uh, as the election campaign was going on, we had received reports that uh, there was an attack, or, or multiple attacks actually, there were multiple attacks on uh, Congress candidate Mr. Alfred's uh, campaigns. Uh, has this stopped and what action has the authority taken to protect the candidate? Uh, well, yes, Akibito, on several occasions, you know, there was firing incident uh, when uh, Mr. Alford, you know, Mr. A.K. Alford, you know, th uh, was, you know, campaigning or giving speech, there was firing incident on several steps, and for this, uh, uh, the Congress party have, you know, registered a formal complaint to the ECI uh, or CEO, and they have given personal security for him, uh, there is no doubt about it, but... Uh, 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 how far uh, this incident will affect the voter uh, attitude towards uh, the, uh, the assert himself is another matter. I think uh, the, he he is uh, emerged as one of the strongest contenders in outer Manipur, Mr. Alpha. Uh, he will be, uh, you know, uh, among uh, uh, among the, you know, at least uh, one or two candidates uh, that will be, you know, that will, uh, that will have the highest chance of winning. So Mr. Alpha has emerged as a very, uh, you know, uh, good prospect in our outer Manipur. Uh, 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 if I can get anything from the bottles that I have so, so far. So he has emerged as a very good, and he belongs to, you know, the country community, uh, which is, you know, uh, a very influential community in Manipur. Okay, and it's in Naga. Yes, uh, Africa. So, uh, finally, in conclusion, Mubashir, on the 19th, you were there at the ground and you saw the situation of the polling process. There was a lot of violence, there was a lot of disturbance in the polling process due to which the Election Commission of India had to call for re-polling in 11 polling stations. Do you expect that on April 26th too, that the same type of incidents will repeat itself in the outer constituency, outer Manipur constituency? Well, so I cannot say I expect, but uh, the answer is everybody knows. Uh, because uh, uh, the, the atmosphere is scarce. Uh, looking at the fact the atmosphere is uh, already scarce in Manipur, and, uh, you know, um, looking at, at the fact that many, you know, armed groups and many militant groups are functioning in Manipur. So uh, they, they somehow try to influence the water in their respective areas. So, uh, the the violence uh, 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 is an unfortunate thing. Violence often happen, and at the same time, you know, uh, good capturing and you know trying to address the border by using this good force and by uh, showing guns or uh, uh, all this kind of stuff uh, happen uh, sometimes. And uh, I think uh, this time security measures have to be increased uh, to utmost level. Yes, Akhilita. All right, thank you so much, Mubashir. Well, April 26th is approaching. We hope you stay safe because on that day too, we will be connecting with you to find out the ground situation on the 26th of April. Stay safe, Mubashir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, that was our correspondent, Mubashir Raji, who just gave us an update uh, stating that the polling, uh, the CEO informed that the overall voters turned out on the re-polling day, the 22nd of April. Uh, there was about 73%, which is quite high because on the 19th itself, according to the Election Commission, the voters' turnout was 
69% on April 19th by around 7 p.m. Well, today seems to be a more, uh, the voters seems to have turned out in larger numbers. He also said that no, on the ground, the situation was by and large very peaceful, at least more peaceful than the April 19th election, and that there was adequate security measures to protect all voters that came to exercise their franchisee. Well, on the 26th of April, the Outer Manipur constituency will be going to vote and uh, there will be three candidates. Uh, it will be a battle between the INC versus NPF, which is the BJP-backed candidate and also an independent. And on that day, two Hornbill TV will be giving you coverage on the ground situation. But for now, that's all. See you next time.